I'm on a long-term travel assignment to Salt Lake City and needed a hotel. A hotel that would be my home away from home for nearly three months. One that is convenient to work and food. And one that is safe, clean, and comfortable. Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm checking into the Marriott City Center in Salt Lake City. Join me to see the rooms, amenities, and take a quick trip over the mountains to Park City. Thanks for watching. Now this isn't the only hotel I stayed at in Salt Lake City, but this is the one I stayed at the most and generally felt the most at home at while staying there. The Marriott City Center Hotel is one of two brand name Marriott properties in downtown, the other being the Marriott City Creek. The convenient location on State Street in downtown gives Marriott City Center access to many of the attractions in the Central Business District. So let's explore. I had the opportunity to stay in a king room as well as a two queen room during my several stays at this property. The rooms were probably renovated sometime in the last 10 years or so, but overall are comfortable. With a nice desk, mini fridge, and large windows, the room was an adequate space to do work and store leftover dinner food. The bathrooms were consistent in every type of room I had. And I really appreciated this nice wicker basket under the sink to deposit the used towels. The king bedroom provided a sofa to take the extra space, which was quite cozy. The hotel has a room called the Comfort Zone, located in the hallway on each floor, where you can quickly self-serve on towels, coffee maker refills, pick up a room service menu, and use a microwave. The concierge lounge is on the ground floor and is in a space that looks like it was once a coffee shop. Despite the unusual appearance, the Marriott eggs were on point and the nightly dessert brownies were perfect. The lounge access is free if you're a Marriott Bonvoy Platinum member or higher. The room service that I had at this property was really good too. I ordered room service twice and got the tomato soup, chicken Caesar salad, and the pizzas. The tomato soup is some of the best tomato soup I've ever had. There's a restaurant on the ground floor and a lobby bar which has first come first serve seating. The restaurant also had a to-go breakfast counter which was really convenient in the mornings. I used the gym quite a bit and this gym is actually one of the better hotel gyms that I've seen at a Marriott. The space was large with a lot of weights and cardio equipment. The indoor pool entrance is located off the fitness center here on the second floor. If you're bringing a car, there's self-parking for $25 a day and valet service for $35 a day as of spring of 2023. There's lots of great dining options in the area near the hotel like the Copper Onion and Bambara. Park City is a winter paradise located just to the east of the Salt Lake Valley in the Wasatch Mountains. The ski resorts have great conditions late into spring and hiking in the summer. The downtown is quaint with this main street lined with shops and restaurants. For a nice dinner, I'd recommend getting a reservation for the fine dining experience at River Horse on Main. This was a lovely fine dining experience, which included a tasty amuse-bouche, followed by a great entree and dessert course. This is one of my favorite meals in Utah and was so worth the drive out to Park City from Salt Lake, which takes about 35 minutes depending on traffic. Closer to the highway is the Utah Olympic Park. Back in 2002, Salt Lake City hosted the Winter Olympic Games for the first time. Several of the mountain sport venues were built in the Park City area, like the ski jump, bobsleigh track, and cross-country skiing course. A free museum showcases photos, uniforms, props, and equipment from those 2002 games. If you've ever wondered how heavy a curling stone is, you could attempt to lift this one that's on display.
Wandering through the museum brings back quite a few memories from my early teenage years watching the games live on TV. They happened at a very difficult time in modern history and certainly did not evade scandal. I lived in the Washington DC area at the time and I remember my dad taking me downtown a few days before Christmas 2001 to see the Olympic torch relay come through the city. I think that connection makes these Olympics not seem so distant and what made this trip to the former Olympic host city very special for me on a personal level. Fun fact, this is the 10th Olympic host city that I've visited. Hopefully someday I'll get to visit a whole lot more. More Olympic legacy sites can be seen around the Greater Salt Lake area, like the plaza outside Rice Eccles Stadium on the campus of the University of Utah, which has the 2002 Olympic Cauldron and tributes to the athletes and Salt Lake community that supported the Games. Are you visiting Utah soon? Would you choose to stay at this hotel? Would you take the time to venture over to Park City? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my channel for more city guides and hotel reviews and check out one of these recommended videos popping up next.